Hi everyone, this is a donkey. I love it. It's a wonky donkey. No, it's just a normal donkey. Nay, hey, it's a wonky donkey. It's a normal donkey. It's a wonky donkey. It's a normal donkey. It's a stinky dinky lanky honky tonky winky wonky donkey, I tell you. Uh, what are you even looking at over there, McGregor? Huh? Oh. Hang on a minute. It is a wonky donkey. Huh? How did that happen? Where did this wonky donkey even come from? It's from the book ladder. The wonky donkey. Come, I'll show you. Sue, today's story is The Wonky Donkey, written by Craig Smith and illustrated by Katz Cowley, and it goes a little something like this. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey, hee-haw, and he only had three legs. He was a wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs and one eye. He was a winky wonky donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye, and he liked to listen to country music. He was a honky tonky winky wonky donkey. Hee-haw! I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music, and he was quite tall and slim. He was a lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky donkey. I was walking down the road, and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs and one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim, and he smelled really, really bad. You dear, looks like he's done a big fluff there. Ew! He was a stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. And his poor little friend, the birdie, he's fallen unconscious from the stench. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. And that morning, he got up early and hadn't had any coffee. He was a cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee-haw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. That morning, he'd got up early and hadn't had any coffee. And he was always getting up to mischief. He was a hanky, panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Let's try that again. See if we can do it all in one breath. He was a hanky, panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Aye, that's better. That cheeky bugger, he's biting on someone's undies here. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Yeehaw! He only had three legs, one eye. He liked to listen to country music. He was quite tall and slim. He smelled really, really bad. That morning, he got up early and hadn't had any coffee. He was always getting up to mischief, but he was quite good looking. He was a spunky, hanky, panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Hang on, three again in one breath. He was a spunky, hanky, panky, cranky, stinky, dinky, lanky, honky, tonky, winky, wonky, donkey. Aye. I was walking down the road and I saw a donkey. Hee haw! <laughs> I like the spunk. And that is. Oop. The end. And on the back it says, just look at that donkey over there. Ha! It's a wonky donkey. <laughs> By now, I bet you're all wondering, how do you get a double-sided picture like this? No, I was wondering, what is the capital of Denmark? Oh, the capital of Denmark is Copenhagen. And I bet everyone except Mr. Underpants was wondering, how do you get a double-sided picture like this? Nah, I was wondering, what do you 
call a shape with ten sides? A shape with ten sides is called a decagon. And I'm sure somebody must have been wondering how you get a double-sided picture like this. Well, anyway, I'm going to explain how you get a double-sided picture like this. First, get yourself one picture of a normal donkey and one picture of a wonky donkey, like this. Now, I drew these ones myself in your dreams. Okay, I asked someone to draw these myself. But you can always just print them out if you don't want to draw them. Then cut them up into even strips. Like this. Now, I chopped these ones up myself. Oh yeah? With what? Scissors? <laughs> In your dreams, you don't even have fingers. Okay, I asked someone to cut them up myself. And you can ask someone for help too, if you need it. Next, sticky tape two pieces of paper together side by side the same size as the ones you drew the pictures on and stick all the strips down in a row alternating between the strips of one picture and the other like this now I glued all these strips on myself with what? a glue stick? fair enough, nice one hmm, right now this looks like a chunky donkey hmm, yeah, but next we fold in between each strip of paper in a zigzag fashion, like this. Fold it all up into a fan shape and give it a really good press down. Ah. And then, voila, Bob's your uncle. No, Bob's my cousin's sister's brother's dog. Bob's your uncle or your cousin's sister's brother's dog. We've got a normal donkey or a Wonky donkey! Simple as that! Thanks for sharing that story with us everyone. That was The Wonky Donkey, written by Craig Smith and illustrated by Katz Cowley. If you enjoyed that and want to read it again, why not see if you can get your hands on it at your local bookshop or library. And if you want to see more funny gissy, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all the latest videos. We'll see you next time on Storytime with Gissy. I love it.